Five Nights at Freddy's is to video games what paranormal activity is to the film industry. The main difference here is that Scott Cawthon's prolific and quick work on the game series has produced multiple innovations across titles. Whereas Paranormal Activity, well, it's all just kind of the same at this point. I played the original Five Nights at Freddy's soon after it released, well before I ever got the itch to become a YouTuber. But I was very familiar with the Let's Play industry, and I had a strong hunch this game was going to serve as a watershed moment for LPers like PewDiePie, Markiplier, and other well-known YouTube personalities. If there's anything that Let's Play fans love, it's the pure shareability of a great entertainer reacting intensely to scary games. That shareability is what has made Freddy a household name in indie gaming, in relatively short order. That, and the fact that Scott has been churning them out with surprising frequency. This is the fourth game in less than a year. Now, despite Scott's clever and creative adjustments to the design, I shied away from Freddy's 2 and 3 because I was already hooked into something else in the games industry. Like the rest of you all, I have a bad habit of leapfrogging over old ideas and heralding the new ones as quote-unquote industry changing. But my interest in this particular tech is anything but fad material at this point. Hell, it's not every day I start a YouTube channel over any little old thing. Virtual reality is here. It has received new life due to the convergence of a number of advancements in technology. It's like an infant at this point, one that is learning to walk and talk with varying degrees of success. But it's learning these things much faster than anyone could have anticipated. Sooner rather than later, it will be on its feet and making converts of all of us. We're not there yet though, and without proper support from developers of all shapes and sizes, we could witness a much slower growth in the early early stages than armchair analysts are expecting. We need AAA titles built from the ground up for virtual reality. We also need indie games to adapt to it. We need popular, simple games that are just begging for that extra layer of immersion. To be honest, we need Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, there is a fan-made recreation of Five Nights at Freddy's that was built in the Unreal Engine and it works surprisingly well. One Night at Freddy's was created for one reason alone, to get VR enthusiasts inside Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and not just interacting with it on a two-dimensional screen. As expected, the game is tremendously popular with the Let's Play community, almost as popular as the original game. Something about knowing that your favorite YouTuber is scared shitless and on even higher alert than normal sets the viewing community into a frenzy. They get excited about the game, but more importantly, they get excited about VR. We need more though. The trailer for Freddy's 4 was just released this week and we're already hearing word that Scott will have the game ready for us on August 8th. That's a few weeks away. By now he's a trusted developer and most indie game fans are confident that he has enough tricks left in his bag to make the experience new and fresh again. The trailer seems to indicate that the player will have much more freedom of movement in the game world, and that first-person POV is still well intact. It looks utterly terrifying, and fans are rightly excited for it. But I'm really hoping for something more. I'm hoping that Scott has considered the implications of VR support, and that he has included it, or at least some form of it, into his newest title. The relationship between Freddy's and the Let's Play community has always been mutually beneficial. Wouldn't it be cool to include a third party into it? With Valve and Oculus poised to release their consumer solutions at the end of this year and into early next year, and with Freddy's 4 set to drop next month, what kind of impact could we reasonably expect on the early adoption of VR among a broader gaming public? Quite a big one, I would say. I've got an email into Scott and I do hope he responds, even if only to let me know that we we shouldn't expect anything official. At the very least, I have faith in the VR community that they will yet again pull another rabbit out of the hat and give it unofficial support. Thanks for watching Gameplays, you guys. Stay tuned for more, hit that subscribe button, and take care, everyone.